Hi guys, it is Caitlin here, Cross Stitch Kate. Uh, I am coming at you with an unboxing video, my first unboxing video. Um, I asked my last floss tube if anyone would be interested in seeing me unbox the Spring and Stars Hollow uh, retreat box from Black Needle Society. And I got quite a few people that said they would be very interested in seeing it. So, uh, I decided, let's go for it. I got my box just like an hour ago. I had no idea they were coming out this early in April, so I'm very excited. And um, I'm gonna show you what I got. I have not opened the box yet. I physically opened the box, but have not looked inside yet. So. Here is the cute little pamphlet that came with. Oh, before I start, I have to show off my sweatshirt that says, I'd rather be watching Gilmore Girls. It's my favorite sweatshirt. I'm actually kind of warm. It's actually like 60 degrees outside. So spring is kind of here. So this is fitting that we're doing the spring box today. Um, I got this on Etsy like 10 years ago. So it's been a while. Uh, I have no idea the shop that I got it from. I'm sure you can find something similar if, you, if you're if you interested. Um, so can you tell I'm a Gilmore Girls fan? Uh, I really, it's one of my fave. It's kind of a comfort show, right? Um, so let's get into it. All right, so I just counted. Um, so this is a little pamphlet that just comes on top of the box and it just goes into all of the thing, all of the items that are in the box. Um, and so I just counted and I believe there's 13 items that we will get to open here. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, pull things out one item at a time and I will show you what's in here and then I'll read the little description of the item. Um, so you can know where it came from. Um, so again, this is the Black Needle Society Spring and Stars Hollow box. And it just, you know, came in the Black Needle Society um, labeled box. So let's just get into it. First item I see says Al's Pancake World Mystery Specialty Floss. It's in an actual takeout container. And I see, ooh, I see some color and cotton floss. So let's, ooh, so pretty. So these are the spring colors. So let me read just about them quick. Um, Al's Pancake Exclusive Floss, made by Color and Cotton. You'll, you never know what you'll get from Al's. We asked Angela to dream up colors inspired by some of our favorite spring Gilmoreisms. This one is called A Film by Kirk. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. The Pickles. <laughs> I love that. Vicious Trollop. The Lipstick. Big Head Want Dolly. Gosh, I'm trying to remember that reference. And then the three month anniversary. It's pretty hot pink. Oh, love that. So five beautiful colors from Color and Cotton is number one. I'll put that back in the sweet little box. All right, next up, we've got a plastic red solo cup that says Miss Patty's Founders Day Punch. Uh, let's see, Founders Day Punch Cup, designed by Katrina Book Designs. Are you a punch junkie? If so, you need this exclusive reusable cup to enjoy Miss Patty's Founders Day Punch. So cute, that's a lot of fun. And then it looks like there are some goodies inside. Oh, it's popcorn, that's so fun. So movie theater butter popcorn kits. Um, for, the, for the movie theater, let's see. This says, I'm trying to find it. Okay, Stars Hollow Movie in the Square Night Popcorn, made by Carrie Lee Specialties. The movie be, the movie may be the yearling again, but at least we've got some fantastic movie theater butter style popcorn to munch on during the show. So that is so fun. It's got like a little mix. Love that. Um, all right, Firelight Festival matches. It's a cute little um, magnetic tin. I love that, the Firelight Festival. 
Let's see what this is about. Firelight Festival Needle Case, designed by Karen Leopold. Did they forget matches to light the bonfire again? We made this handy match case to hold a few extras, but we may be stashing needles inside it instead. And it does contain a magnet. Let's put your needles in. That's so cute. Hope that you can see that okay. Sorry if I hadn't shown things close up. Miss Patty's Founder Say Punch and the needle case. That is so handy. Love that. Um, this is what the needle minders typically come in. So let me see what we've got here. The needle minders in the past have been amazing. So, oh, cute. So this says vote Geller and Gilmore for Chilton student body president. Very cute. Rory and Paris in their election at the end of, I believe the second season. Nice strong needle minder. That'll be awesome. Oh, and it sticks right to the, to the needle case. So let's see the needle minder. It's Geller and Gilmore needle minder designed by the Black Needle Society. It's campaign season at Chilton. Who are you voting for, for student body presidents? She may not be likable, but we think Geller is qualified and competent and her running mate looks like birds help her get dressed in the morning. So cute. Oh, yay. <laughs> so in the first box, um, there was a recipe book and then there were eight recipe cards um, that are like actual recipes that you can make in our Gilmore Girls themes. And, and then in the last box, there were eight more and we've got another pack. So Eat Like a Gilmore Recipe Cards, designed by Heather Gretton Art. The third set of seasonally inspired recipe cards. This spring set includes nine recipes from the show to help while planning your retreat snacks. So I'm gonna read them off for you. Patty's Founders Day Punch. Ooh, I wonder what's in that. All kinds of good stuff. And the artwork is so cute on these. Jackson's Raspberry Jam. Spice Nuts for Tricks. I love the picture of, there's Gran. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Suki Zucchini Soup. Lorelai's Birthday Pizza. It's funny, I just watched that episode. Suki's Bit of Basket Pretzel. Oh, the art. So, so cute. Luke's Missing Monte Cristo Sandwich. Turtleneck soup for Richard. Oh my God, Emily smoking here is giving me life. Love that. And Caesar's chili quiles. Oh my gosh, I love it. How fun. I have never actually made anything from these recipe cards, but I think I may need to change that. Um, okay, recipe cards. Uh, let's see what this is. Just comes in a little box. Looks like a keychain. Possibly. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Okay. So it says Lane's Classic Rock Bluetooth Speaker Keychain. That is so cool. So it's a keychain. It says, oh my gosh, funny. If you're going to get into classic rock, know it, don't blow it. A little quote from Lane. It's hard to show. And then it just has like a little USB for charging. That's very cool, actually. Then you'll always have a little Bluetooth with you on the patio this summer. Um, it says, use this portable speaker to get an education in rock. We've even created a playlist inspired by the show. In the Spotify app, go to search and then scan the code. They gave us a little code. That is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's very clever. I can't wait to listen to the playlist. How fun. Um, okay, oh my gosh. This is adorable. Okay, this is an accessory tray. So it's the Oi with the Poodles Already accessory tray. So it's like a little leather, faux leather type. And I'm guessing, yep, it just snaps right together. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I don't have anything like this. And then it's a little tray that you can set down, put your stitchy stuff in it. That is adorable. So that is made by North to 
north to south designs. If you put oi with the poodles together in the same sentence, you'd have a great new catchphrase. That's fun. I like that. It's just so fun to open this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh yay, I'm excited. Oh, this is awesome. Um, okay, this is, sorry for the crinkles, this is Rory's Reading List Book Sleeve, designed by Abby Malega Art. This is cool. It's a little zippered pouch, and it has, oh my gosh, I love this. It has books that are referenced in the show that, that Rory is reading. So it says, this sleeve features all the books referenced in Rory's graduation speech. It will fit a standard size hardcover up to 300 pages, pages or a standard size paper book up to 450 pages. That is so fun. It's just lines. It almost like, I bet it's waterproof. So it says, I live in a world, I live in two worlds. One is a world of books. Uh, so the books that are on here, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, A Confederacy of Dunes, Moby Dick, Anna Karenina, War and Peace, Swan's Way, The Sound and the Fury. That is too cute. Got a little Luke's coffee cup, dragonflies. I love that. That would also come in handy if you had a small project. This could be a project bag for sure. That's adorable. Um, let's see here. Oh my gosh, I love these. Oh, these are very sharp. Um, we've got some beautiful scissors. They look extremely sharp. Let's see where these are from. <clears throat> let's see. Huh. Dragonfly scissors. They do, they have dragonflies on them. Can we see that? Right here. That is very pretty. I'm gonna need a little sheet for that. Um, curated by the Black Neal Society. It's time to cut the ribbon for the grand opening of the Dragonfly Inn, and we have a special pair of scissors for the occasion, complete with dragonflies on the handle. Oh, it's like an iridescent blue. That's very cool. I hope my lighting is okay. I'm obviously in a different uh, place in my house today. Very pretty. They have a nice weight to them too. They're like nice and heavy. Um, let's see here. And then there's a couple of things. Oh, I'm very excited about this. I think I know what this is. Okay, so this is a t-shirt and the bag is super cute actually. Um, it's got a Yale pro con list, so like when Roy was deciding what college she was going to, she made her pro con list. Obviously it's Yale, Roy Garcia, and then the shirt. This is just a t-shirt and it says, Rory's going to Yale. This is like the, when Kirk is making his like daily goings on of Stars Hollow shirts. Um, the first one is like Babette ate oatmeal. Can't remember, the other one's about Pose. This is Rory's going to Yale. Yay, oh, that's so cute. It's just a nice black t-shirt, very soft. Um, let's read about that. Kirk's headline t-shirt designed by the Black Needle Society. The pro and con list must come to a close. Lorelai has redecorated Rory's room and Kirk has a new headline for his daily t-shirt. How fun. Oh, I love that. All right, so in the past two um, boxes, there have been project bags. So I'll show you the project that my that my actual project is in. It's I love this bag. It's huge, and it says Anomnia Paratus, and it has Logan and Rory. I'm team Logan. Um, you know, that's not a super popular opinion. I mean, Jess is great. I, I do like Jess as well. Um, Dean, no, no time for Dean. But Logan is my favorite, and I don't know if that explains why I'm single or 
<laughs> just kidding. Um, but I do love Logan. This bag is so fun. Um, but they have had a, a project bag in every one and it looks like, this is crazy. Um, so this is like a tote. Wow. And it says Dragonfly Inn on it. And it's a huge, huge tote. Oh my goodness. Huge. Nice purple lining. There are like pockets galore in this. Wow. Look at all of the pockets on the front. This is very cool. It's like an overnight bag. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's read about this. So this, why can I never find these? Dragonfly in stash bag designed by the Black Mule Society. Ready for a weekend stay in Stars Hollow? Pack your bags for the Dragonfly Inn with its exclusive stash bag just for the occasion. Great, that's a huge bag. This is absolutely big enough to be an overnight bag. You should never have too many totes, right? This would be great actually for the beach. It's like all lines, um, like a picnic or something. That is so fun. And you know, I don't really need another project bag. So this is great have something a little bit different. Um, very fun, I love that. All right, last but not least, um, we've got the pattern. So it comes with a paper pattern of the spring in Stars Hollow. So if you can see, there it is. So I'm gonna read about it. Um, so this is 95 by 95. Uh, each design in the series. So there's obviously four seasons to this series. This is the third that has been released. Um, so when it's all stitched together, you can stitch them together or you can stitch them individually, obviously. I'm stitching them all together. And so it will end up being 380 by 95. They go all in a row. I'll show my project here in just a moment. Um, but there we go. There is the very beautiful uh spring so it says this is the third of four seasons inspired by stars hollow it features half of the troubadour's guitar so let's see it's kind of under the leaves right there um a dragonfly the dragonfly inn obviously uh a used bookstore uh book stack a bit of basket suki an owl's takeout container vicious trollop lipstick the Stars Hollow Town sign, a lamp post decorated for the Firelight Festival, and the 12 Easter eggs that Kirk missed. I don't know if you can see those. I see a few. That's going to be fun. So pretty. So there is the pattern. Um, I'll show you the color palette. Well, maybe I won't because they're not all together. <laughs> or, yes, they are. Um, okay, so here are my colors it's kind of just a mixture but they're really pretty they're a mix of a lot of different things and then some i keep my dmc in these um flossway bags for now i'm gonna switch it up but fun colors so this is a very like bright and festive um color palette so that'll be really really fun I, i'm so excited um to get started I'll show you, I showed my last Flossy video where I am, but I have finished the first two, um, the first two patterns. And so there, it is so, such a fun stitch. Um, so we've got summer over here, obviously, and fall over here. And you can see just like the change in the color palette. So this is where spring will go. So we'll do the other side of the guitar and then spring. Winter will go on this side. So that is so fun. I'm doing this on 40 count antique white. Um, so it's gonna be kind of teeny. Again, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> None, but I'm having so much fun stitching it. So, so I can't wait to get started. This will be an April um, new start for me. I'm actually, I started watching again because I knew that um, this project and retreat was coming up. Such a nice paper chart from the Black Needle Society. They also, um, you can buy a PDF pattern. So I'll be doing that because I use Pattern Keeper for this and I just find it to be easier. But if you don't use Pattern Keeper, there's big blocks of color in this. 
Um, so even though it's full coverage, it's very manageable to do. And um, the last couple, they haven't taken me too terribly long. So, so yeah, this will be filled up here in no time. Once I get going on these, um, I tend to finish them fairly quickly. So yay, that'll be an April new start. So hopefully uh, in my last or my next Floss tube update um, at the end of April, I will have some good progress on Spring and Stars Hollow. So let's recap Black News Society. Um, I believe the, um, the retreat, the virtual retreat starts on April 26th and then it lasts, it's like a long weekend. So you can, they have stitch challenges. Uh, during the day, they have some lives that you can attend. Their stitching rooms, which I'm gonna really try and be brave and go into one of those this year, um, and meet some some stitchers. That will be fun. Um, okay, so we had the needle minder. We had the floss in the sweet little takeout container. We had the firelight festival needle case. We had the popcorn. And we have this cute Founder's Day punch cup. Um, we've got the dragonfly scissors. We've got the Bluetooth keychain with a playlist. Uh, we've got the accessory tray. Uh, we've got the t-shirt, Kirk's t-shirt here. That's fun, Rory's going to Yale. We have got the dragonfly stash bag. We've got the book sleeve, which I really like. This is very fun. It's nice to have a book sleeve. Um, we've got the recipe cards and then we've got the pattern. Yay. All right, my first unboxing. Hope I didn't go too fast. Hope you could see all this stuff. Um, let me know if you have any questions on any of this loot. Um, I've only ever done these uh, Gilmore Girls uh, Black Needle Society boxes. I know that they do subscriptions. Um, I've never done any of those. So I'm, I'm just a big Gilmore Girls fan. I love getting all this stuff. It's super fun. It is just a lot of stuff though to like, you know, it's fun to open and I'm like, okay, what do I do with all this stuff? But hopefully I will find uses for everything. Um, yeah, let me know what you like the best. Um, if there's anything coveted that you saw here today, I'm very excited about these flosses as well. Um, I'll show you these flosses again. Fun palette, it's kind of like, I don't know, kind of punk rock, look at that. I love that pink. Color and cotton, you know, you guys know I'm a big fan of color and cotton, so they always do such a nice job with these boxes, so. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that's all I have for you today. Um, join me again next um, next time for my regular floss tube update. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If this is your first time um, joining me for a video, if you found me through just the unboxing, go ahead and give my past videos a watch and like and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. You can also follow me on Instagram. Um, I am Cross Stitch Kate. All right, guys. Have a wonderful weekends and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.